Hi, welcome to Talentelgia Technologies. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of database development. We'll be exploring the entire life cycle of database development, from planning and analysis to maintenance and optimization. The database development life cycle is a method used in development to help make a database. It acts like a friendly translator, making it easy for regular users or computer programs to work with data, creating, protecting, reading, updating, and deleting information. Developing a robust database system is far from simple. It demands detailed stages like planning, analysis, design, development, testing, deployment, and ongoing maintenance, collectively making up the database development lifecycle. Whether you're a budding developer or a seasoned pro, stick around to learn about these essential steps. Let's discuss six stages in the database development lifecycle. The first phase in the database development lifecycle is planning and analysis. This is where it all begins. During this phase, we gather requirements, understand the scope of the project, and define the database objectives. It's crucial to identify what data needs to be stored and how it will be used. This sets the foundation for everything that follows. We'll meet with stakeholders to discuss their needs and expectations, and we'll analyze existing systems to see what can be improved. The goal here is to create a detailed project plan that outlines the database structure and functionalities. Next up is the design phase. This is where we translate our requirements into a blueprint. We'll create detailed data models, define the architecture, and design the database schema. This includes specifying tables, columns, data types, and relationships between data entities. Think of it as creating the blueprint for a building. A well-thought-out design will ensure the database is efficient, scalable, and easy to maintain. Implementation. Once the design is finalized, we move on to the implementation phase. Here, we actually build the database. This involves writing SQL code to create tables, indexes, views, and other database objects. We also set up the database management system and configured the environment. Implementation is where our plans start to take shape. It's an exciting phase where we see the database come to life. Testing. After implementation, it's time for testing. We need to ensure our database works as intended. This involves validating the data, running performance tests, and checking for security vulnerabilities. We'll also conduct user acceptance testing to make sure the database meets the needs of its users. Testing is critical because it helps us catch and fix issues before the database goes live. Deployment is the next step. Here, we launch the database in the live environment. This can involve migrating data from old systems, configuring servers, and setting up backup and recovery processes. It's essential to plan the deployment carefully to minimize downtime and disruption. Once deployed, the database is officially in production and ready for use. The final phase is maintenance and optimization. A database is never truly finished, it requires ongoing maintenance to ensure it runs smoothly. This includes monitoring performance, applying updates and patches, and optimizing queries to improve speed. Regular maintenance keeps the database secure, efficient, and reliable over time. We've gone from planning and analysis all the way through to maintenance and optimization. Each phase is crucial for building a robust and efficient database. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future tech tutorials. Have any questions or tips of your own? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.